Vicky. Good to see you. I, d I don't even know where to start. I start with what? Looking? What's wrong? Mitch Lawrence showed up here a while ago. Started in on us. Damn. And Charlie got so upset. And he, and he left. And I don't have any idea where he went. What, do you think uh, he went for a drive? Cool off? Yeah, that, that, sure, that's may, maybe what he did. Oh, you don't even believe that. Okay, what is going on? Come on, talk to us. He's, he started drinking again. Very and his son, yeah. It's, I can't even talk about it. Anybody would want to drink after that. Well, I mean, he he slipped apparently after Jared's funeral. But then he told me he wasn't going to drink anymore. You know, so we were here, and Jessica and Natalie were with us, and, and Mitch Lawrence shows up. He's, he's out. He's free, you know. Oh, yeah, we heard. And what that did to Charlie? And there's absolutely nothing I can say to him to make it better. So he left, and I wanted to go with him. He said, no, he wanted to be alone. And I, you know, I, I can't follow him after that. No, of course you couldn't. Charlie has to do this for himself. I oh, know. The only person who can stop Charlie from drinking is Charlie. I believe that Mitch Lawrence is walking around free. I know. Well, you wouldn't have let that happen. No. That's why he doesn't have his job anymore. <laughs> well, if I were mayor, that wouldn't have happened. I think that resigning and letting Dorian take over obviously was the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, your family needed you, Vicky. And besides, who in the world would have guessed that Dorian would let Mitch lose? No, it's too much, even for Dorian. You said that Jessica and Natalie were here. Well, how did they handle seeing Mitch? <laughs> they were amazing. They were very, very strong. They're taking care of each other now which is bringing them closer than they've been in a long time. Oh, that's so nice. I think they're actually learning how to deal with Mitch Lawrence. Hey, Balsam. Hey, uh, you got a minute? Uh, Go, I'm fine. I'll take care of this. Okay. Okay. Did you get a hold of Charlie? No, it just goes straight to voicemail. He doesn't want to talk to me. You know, Nora, thank you, but you don't have to hang around. I don't want to ruin your whole evening. Are you trying to get rid of me? Why would I do that? Are you angry at me because I love Clint? You know, Nora, um, your life is your business. Yeah, but you still think what I did to Clint was pretty lousy. Yeah, it was pretty lousy. Well, on the other hand, he was very well aware of the fact that you and Bo were still very close. And he talked to me about it a whole bunch of times before your marriage. And if I'm not mistaken, you were pretty close to stopping that wedding. Yeah, I just wish I had the strength to do it. And maybe Clint wouldn't be so angry with me now. And he wouldn't be acting the way he's behaving. I'm very worried about him. Well, he's going to need time to lick his wounds, you know. Oh, he's got somebody else to do that for him. Oh? Oh, yeah, a cute little pole dancer from Las Vegas, young enough to be his daughter. Really? Uh-huh. I got shoes older than her. No, 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 Nora. I mean, I. Are, are you sure that Clint and... Uh, who is Kim. she? Kim. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you sure that they're together? Oh, yeah. She moved into the mansion with them. Moat and all. Kim, Clint's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Yeah. But he's just bouncing. Well, Nora, you made your choice, you know. And so Clint has made his choice. And now I have to face the fact that Charlie has to make his own choices. We give you a ride home, Vicky? Uh, they're about to close, aren't they? Yeah. I think I'm going to stay and wait a little longer. Well, you know what? We can stay with you. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to let you go home alone. I, I won't be alone, okay? Jessica and Natalie are both at home. I won't be alone. Okay. Thanks. You take care. So... Charlie, are you all right? 
right. I've been so worried about you. I know. You. I just, I just, I needed to pull it together. How to make peace with what happened. Oh, God, I hope so. We're all going to get our lives back now.